Airbud is best remembered for his accomplishments in basketball, but what do we actually know about him? Sure, he averaged a triple-double during his freshman year in Fernfield High, but why did he go into the bleachers during McDonald's All-American Games in 2001? While we may never get a straight answer out of the Golden Retriever, we followed his career close enough to be able to shed some light on the parts of his life that was previously hidden from the public. Recall back to Buddy's debut game in Fernfield Junior High. While there ain't no rules saying dogs can't play basketball, all players still must be admitted to the school they play for. According to our sources, Buddy complied with the said rule, but the school had to curve the grade considerably just so Buddy could participate in extracurricular activities. While this move may have impacted their basketball program positively, the quality of their education took a nosedive. Most of Buddy's colleagues can't locate North America on the US map. By his school sophomore year, many colleges started recruiting Buddy, but he wouldn't commit to any of them due to a language barrier. Then his public image took a hit when he went into the bleachers in order to sniff another dog's butt during McDonald's All-American Games in 2001. Local news outlets chastised him for his selfishness, choosing raw passion over the game, but things eventually quieted down. That is, until the Washington Regional Quarterfinals in 2002, when Buddy received a technical foul for pooping on the court. That's when the public began to perceive him as a loose cannon. Many colleges rescinded their sports scholarship offers, but Gonzaga still took a chance on the dog. And whatever doubts they might have had about Buddy dissipated when he scored 33 points in his debut game against Arizona. Things were starting to look up. Buddy then went on to sign a lucrative shoe deal with Adidas. He made history when he became the first athlete with a line of shoes that are worn exclusively by those with dog feet. In 2004, Buddy's agents announced that he will be entering the NBA draft. He was projected to be a lottery pick, but he injured himself while chasing a ball in a busy intersection. Buddy broke so many rules while playing basketball that he didn't think traffic rules applied to him. Turns out, cars will run you over indiscriminately, whether you're a stray dog or a dog that earns millions from endorsements. In 2009, Buddy's family had to pull the plug and end his suffering. That year, he made the cover of Times Magazine as the third most influential animal in sports. Many mourned his loss and a statue of the dog was erected just outside the White House to honor his memory. November 9th was declared a national holiday to celebrate Buddy's accomplishments. I'm Will Will Smith Smith if Will Smith could Smith and this has been another episode of Exclusive Expose. Stay tuned for more factual Exclusive Expose. Have a wonderful animal day.